welcome to a tour of the acreage at 36 Gibsons Road, Alston Vale. Before we descend along the driveway, just wanted to talk about the location here. So Gibsons Road is a no-through road, only local traffic. And you can see that the property itself has no, no immediate or direct neighbours. The closest one is over here, which is a good distance away. Um, I sold this property on the other side of the road, 41 Gibsons Road, Alston Vale, in November of 2021 for 4850000 um, It's a similar sized property with a little more infrastructure. Um, and I encourage you to look it up as a reference for value for this property. As you can see, we are looking out beyond the trees here to the beautiful nightcap ranges. The, the hinterland here is stunning. The property has a true north aspect. So north is out here, sun, sun rising. All of these paddocks are on tidal. So sun rising and setting over in the west here. Okay, so the property itself is fully fenced and actually has sheep wire fencing because they do have a variety of livestock here. They've got uh, highland cattle that you can see down there under the trees and also some sheep. And then obviously the owners are very passionate horse riders. So the property is set up for that hobby with uh, a dressage arena in front of the house and some round yards here. Got a cattle grid up here. There's also an enclosed show jumping area. The driveway is fully sealed and in great condition. You can see that on all sides, the property is divided into a series of paddocks. And there's seven of them in total. Here's a great perspective of the house and you can see beyond the large shed. And there's the dressage arena on the other side of the property, which we will check out. Um, again, coming back to the question facilities, got an eight horse walker, round yard, cattle yards, and back on track here, back on the sealed driveway, which gives you all weather sealed access right up to the house. Um, again, with the fencing, it is sheep proof fencing, so protected for the livestock. And then you can also see a lot of the fences have hot wires. They are electrified um, on that top wire. Um, the contours in the land here uh, provide some natural gullies which drain down to a dam. Um, you've also got a stand of bananas up here on the southern boundary which are very bountiful. So you can really see it's a, a great property manageable property all, all the hard work has been done here all the heavy lifting so for a family that wants to enjoy the rural lifestyle and have a mix of animals or not i mean you could just have this you know the the, the 24 acres here provides a wonderful buffer so it is extremely tranquil here Got some uh, trees here in autumnal colours. There's a couple of maples on the other side of the house there, on the western side, which have now dropped all their leaves, but they were flame red just a few weeks ago. Absolutely gorgeous. A great perspective of the house here. Again, great proportions and 
outline with that roof line being very timeless. So the tour of the houses, I've shot that separately. I just wanted to, hello, take you for a walk across the land here. Currently there isn't a swimming pool, but you can see that there is uh, plenty of space for one. We've got this very large level area right in front of the house, north facing, so it's absolutely ideal for the addition of a pool. The owners haven't added one so far because there's a huge dam down here which is swimmable. You can see across the property there's quite a bit of post and rail fencing. Again with sheep fencing lower down. You can see different individualized sections here. You can see the dam down there. I'll show you that in a minute. Just wanted to take you through Look at the size of this space. So you've got a, a large horse float, uh, oversized trailer, two large four-wheel drives, plenty of um, roof clearance here. View back to the house. Okay. So. <clears throat> Coming into the shed itself, we've got concrete slab underfoot, some of those bananas ripening up beautifully. All your rural equipment or hobbies can be stored in here. All the mowers, you can see it's really well set up. And got a tack room here shelves, plenty of space to house everything you need, a uh, laundry and some feed bins. Take you for a quick look, there's some more mezzanine space up here. Plenty more storage. Um, high bay lighting and some clear panels in the roof. All right, coming out to the dressage arena, which is on a sand-based bed. You can see it's just been groomed and it's positioned in front of the house, but it's also concealed behind this hedge. See horses in the paddocks. There's also a tiny home adjacent to the house there, you can see. Okay. So, I want to show you every part of this property. You can see it's really well set up for drainage. There's channels no, right the way through. So, you've got pipes, um, subterranean drainage in place, and then you've got these deep channel grooves which usher the water out and into the large dam. So, obviously, with these sheds, you have substantial um, roof area and the water caught on that roof feeds into these tanks. So, galvanized tanks, three in a row. There's also a deep bore here. Um, really well set up a well, the large chicken 
coop. This really is the dream farm life property. <laughs> Got everything all set up. Okay, and then coming into the stables. Some on this side and some over here. Garden beds adorning most of the key features here. So that's a look at the the infrastructure. A lot, a lot of additional value in the facilities here. Whether you whether you're a horse rider or not, it's great to have a shed of that size. As I say, you know, if you're a car collector, you can store any any hobby in that in that large shed there. Okay, so we're coming down to some of the, more of the horse facilities here. And then the boundary is fence coming through here and up. We got these two. Hello. <laughs> So this entire paddock is on tidal. Another view back to the house facing southeast. And these are those wonderful deciduous maple trees. And I might just conclude the tour of this section of the ground here. I've also got um, septic, which is all in great condition. Got tri-channel distribution system on the septic and I'm going to cut and then start again when I'm up in the paddock over here. Welcome to a video walkthrough of the house at 36 Gibsons Road, Alston Vale. This will be a separate video to a tour of the land which is quite extensive and obviously has incredible equestrian facilities. As you can see, everything is fenced around the house. And then the fencing is thoughtfully tucked behind some beautiful topiary. We've got hedges on all sides of the house, including these two, which, these two ball hedges, which sit either side of the main entrance. Uh, obviously sealed driveway, Coming down to the carport and beyond to the large shed. The house itself is about 20 years old and it's built with a timeless aesthetic. I think it, it, it leans heavily on a sort of classic rural roof. It's got some Tuscan flavors with this beautiful rendering. Constructed with double brick, it has aged very well and is ultimately a very low maintenance house. You've got a proxy seal on the ground here beneath all the undercover wraparound verandas. Um, the render is, is beautifully done and as I say, creates a wonderful timeless aesthetic. Um, timber accents throughout, doors, window frames and coming in through the double door entrance we've got one room to our left here with also with double doors leading us into uh, an office or this could be a bedroom obviously it has built-in robes and then coming through into the main living got these wonderful exposed beams 
Um, they have been whitewashed slightly to give it a more neutral palette. Um, you can see we've got a wood burning fireplace here, again with a timber hearth that has been whitewashed to match the, the internal uh, render, which is a nice neutral and white and bright light white. <laughs> uh, coming into the kitchen, which is a, a beautifully designed classic rural kitchen. You've got uh, timber battens on the ceiling and they've also been lightened. You've got this wonderful central island bench with some stool seating. Got uh, a very large Ilve gas cooktop stove, electric oven um, coming around. You've got undercover access through from the carport and through that door there, you can see some photographer's equipment, but that is also a laundry, mud room, washroom, WC. And then if you uh, are looking to store appliances, we've got this wonderful butler's pantry. Um, great uh, gross surface area for bench space and got a double porcelain farm sink. Uh, as you can see, everything is designed to lead out onto these wonderful alfresco areas. We are true north here and the grounds immediately surrounding the house are very level. It's really a wonderful space to be. You've got a fire pit over here, some citrus, and the house is positioned centrally on the block. So you've got a great buffer around you, equidistant to any neighbors, and no obstruction of sunlight, you know, the sun setting over. So the sun is rising. Get my finger in frame. Rising and setting over in the west so perfect orientation um, as you can see there is undercover space on all sides of the house you've got uh, a galvanized roof which is in great condition and it's got a lovely deep pitch to it so the thermal performance of the building will be very high double brick and then uh, a deep uh, recess within the pitch of the apex roof. Got timber shutters, more timber accents, double French doors opening. Really a wonderful, homely, time, timeless, classic rural aesthetic. Um, the tiles underfoot, are, um, they have a, a stone-like feel. They are tiles, but they do look very much like stone. And, and again, very timeless and neutral. Um, so more storage here. You've got the actual proper galley butler's, butler's pantry with you know four or five shelves on each side, louver window, so great for ventilation. And that's in addition to the storage we saw for the appliances. So yeah, a little... Um, Kitchen dining space here, and then a more formal dining room here. Um, double French doors here, which just, again, great for opening out and uh, creating that flow to the undercover area. This central corridor connects the home. It is the main artery through to the heart of the home. Um, one bedroom here currently set up as a sewing room or office. Got some inbuilt desk space, um, but you can see plenty of room for a king size bed here, opening out onto the wonderful north facing lawns. Plenty of storage, ample built ins here. And uh, obviously fans and LED lights as standard. Um, we've stored some chairs here, just moving stuff around as we shoot. I 
So a central bathroom, um, again with French doors opening onto the lawn and you've got the bathtub in here, good sized bathroom. Here we have another guest bedroom. Um, this one doesn't have external access, but is the only room without external access. Again, with double built-ins and a fan. Still nice with uh, generous proportions and uh, deeply set uh, windows on two elevations, so plenty of light. Coming through into the master, just to show you here, it uh, obviously is approached through double doors. And we've got the ensuite here. It's a good size, a lovely outlook over the lawns. All the Measurements for these spaces will be in our floor plan. Um, great access here onto the undercover balcony, which really is a wonderful space. Just to take another tour. Okay, so we we'll just complete the tour of the master bedroom here. So you can see it's got two king singles side by side, but that uh, is designed for a king king bed. And then you've got a lovely walk-in robe. So you've got ventilation through into that hallway area as you enter the master. So <clears throat> windows at both ends, great for ventilation. No issues with mold here whatsoever. Um, obviously, blinds on all windows, which are automated. So automated blackout blinds, great when you want to lie in. I love this little box seat here, which is just a nice little touch for somewhere, somewhere to sit and read a book, if you like. Um, coming through into the laundry, um, sometimes an overthought, but here you'll see ample storage, lots of bench top space, um, washer dryer, another sink, and leading us out into the veggie gardens, which are wrapped with this beautifully kept topiary. greenhouse here, a little arbor gate to take us out and back onto the lawn. So three bedrooms plus a study, um, all of generous proportion and We've got a, a large central living room, dining area. And that concludes the tour of the internal spaces of the home itself. And now I will do a tour of the land and the sheds, thanks. Starting the tour again. So we're at the northern boundary of the property, looking back up at the house. And there's the large sheds. We're now looking at a beautiful large dam that holds water all year, the catchment dam. It is on the neighbor's property, but you can swim in it. You can canoe in it and it's a beautiful feature and it also explains where you know any water that is traversing the property here where it goes it comes down these predefined contours and fills up the dam there 
Okay, so coming up the hill now, we're entering one of the larger paddocks. Um, got a bit of walking to do here. But also worth pointing out with the dam here is the neighboring residence is a fair long way away. So there's this wonderful vegetated buffer between their residence and this boundary and their lovely neighbors and very agreeable to the dam being used by the owners of 36 Gibsons. Holston Vale and the local government area here with the planning and the zoning does permit a dual occupancy. A second residence on the title and have a look at this beautifully soft contoured paddock here for the location of a second house if you so wanted. Some great elevation. I'm going to turn around in a minute, but it's going up the hill. So it's north facing. You can back at the main house and the shed. Great buffer of paddock all around you. So plenty of opportunity to further enhance this wonderful property to suit your needs. Obviously, it's pre it presents it presents really well. The owners are meticulous, fastidious. They've been here for approximately nine years and are returning to Queensland. Um, the daughter loves to uh, show jump, so most of that is done in Queensland and they have friends and family up there. So returning to their original stomping ground Some more of those wonderful autumnal colours they really have put on the display lately. It's, uh, going sulphur now, but we're vermilion, oh, vivid red just a few weeks ago. Just going to adjust my microphone, so I'll just park you there for a minute. Okay, so we're looking here, you can see this show jumping arena here has been terraformed to create a wonderful level pad. It's fully fenced, sheep wire, the hot wire at the top. You can see, I mean just here is an example, this groove here, so land has been contoured to optimize the drainage around if you can see this this ridge here so that all the water is pushed around the show jumping arena which keeps the ground firm so we're approaching the eastern boundary here you can see the property goes right up to the corner there corner post just there and then coming down Alston Vale Road <sighs> the vegetation here uh, is there's no macadamias there so um, you're just looking at natural growth forest um, 
So we're coming up to just another example of the attention to detail here. So they've created this for irrigation purposes, not irrigation, sorry, drainage purposes, this wonderful um, rock channel, which has been fully planted out with natives. It's actually really pretty, you know, especially when the water is trickling along it. See some citrus planted over here. So this is, you know, the furthest most corner of the property and, you know, attention and love has been put into this most remote part of the property. Okay, so coming up to the well, this is the deep bore. Just wanted to show you that, fully fenced in. Got a pump on it. So again, got a little bridge down there. Obviously, the owners coming to this part of the property would either be on a horse or on a buggy, usually. But I chose to go two feet and a heartbeat. So I really wanted to show you the expanse of the property. We're coming back up to uh, the show jumping arena and a view back to the house. This really is a stunning property and I would welcome the opportunity to show you through in person. It really presents very well in actuality as well as on camera. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching this tour of 36 Gibsons Road, Alston Vale.